Many of the musicians and composers who helped create Motown were accomplished jazz musicians. These artists saw their work become successful while they were forgotten by time. This is the story of one of them, Raleigh Davis. In Detroit, Paradise Valley was the place to hear great jazz. It was here in a small nightclub that Raleigh Davis discovered the sax. First time I heard the sax, my brother and I went to Paradise Valley to the Blue Note Club. A night like this, the doors would be open, and they would be in there just jamming away. And you'd see people like Dinah Washington, Brooke Benton, Ella Fitzgerald. They would come in and out of those clubs like mad. Over the next year, Raleigh worked odd jobs at various nightclubs, where he learned as much as he could from these great musicians, until the one night where he got his big break. Uh, Bernie Kenton was playing at the Royal, but uh, he had a better job in Chicago, so he left to go play in Chicago. Uh, the manager knew that I wanted to get started, so he let me play, and that night, man, I played like a house of fire. In three years, Raleigh would develop a following. He would travel the world and record six albums. In his personal life, he would get married and start a family, but eventually he knew he would have to settle down and call someplace home. After three years of being on the road, I came back home. I still loved my music, but the strain of being on the road was getting a little too much for me. When Raleigh came back to Detroit, he found another avenue for his talent. Along with other musicians from Paradise Valley, he began to compose music for a new record label named Motown. For 40 years, Raleigh would stop performing until one day. When I first heard Raleigh Davis, I was at my dad's house. He was listening to an old LP. I told my dad that I had to borrow that LP for my show that night. And at 10 o'clock, I went on air and played the entire album. The phones went nuts. People were calling in all night talking about stories from Paradise Valley. It was just so fascinating to me that these musicians had just disappeared. Their music was long gone, only available on 45s or if you're lucky, LPs. But every Sunday I kept playing. The people couldn't get enough of Raleigh Davis. They kept calling in and calling in. I kept visiting old record shops, scouring the racks, trying to find more Raleigh. I found an album that I hadn't heard and decided to play it on the show. So one cold rainy night, I unpacked it from my bag, poured myself a cup of coffee and kicked my feet up to give it a listen to. The phone rang and I grabbed it thinking it was gonna be someone else telling a story, but it wasn't. I heard, son, this is Raleigh Davis and I hear you're a fan of my music, my heart stopped. When I first met this kid, uh, I guess he must have thought it was a prank. Um, but after talking with him for a couple of hours and being interviewed, I had no idea what was going to happen next. History may have forgotten Raleigh Davis. However, fate didn't. We were thrilled when Mr. Davis agreed to perform this weekend. I'd have to admit that I'd never heard of him before, but once I heard his story and his music, I just knew that he had to be a part of the summer series at the Fox.